I think I, I I wish I invited you. I would have recorded because. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I now it is it started yes, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Okay. Okay. Yes, me. Yes, please. You're the one. You're the one who has started. Yeah. <laughs> Can you share that paper? Uh, in the okay. Yeah. So that, uh, okay. Yes. Come on. I think in the active circuit only you may have a problem. Okay, the diodes and other things. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm opening it. I think you have to. I'm trying to open. It's taking time to open. I'm trying to open it. It's taking time. It's no problem. No problem. So it's a meta surface. Uh, you know that. Uh, yeah, the the what they call it, a meta surface by Dan Stephen Piper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephen yeah, Piper. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, Dan Stephen Piper. Yes. I'm opening it now. But it's a very yeah. good paper, basically. So 2003, it has appeared, right? Yes, so, yes, yes. Please, it is. It has, I know. The paper title is. Two dimensional beam steering, steering. using an electrical see, tunable can can surface. Can you see my screen? No, 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 I cannot. Okay, I thought I, I've opened it. I thought you were seeing. Okay, let me see. I don't know. Share, share, share. JWL uh, Omega Square uh, LC. Okay. So he modeled that, you know, impedance uh, surface basically. Yeah, can, can you see? Yeah, 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 I can see it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, then uh, he had, you know, there are, you know, fundamental equations of, you know, that uh, omega naught angular frequency. Then uh, yes, he uh, derived that, you know, uh, no, um, incident wave is reflection phase of the surface, basically. Yes, sir. So with respect to impedance and the efficiency, then uh, he has also yes. derived that, uh, okay, incident beam angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gradient. Okay, should you read the ground planes are planar surfaces that are electrically conducting and play a role in many types of arrays. What is that? Oh, sorry, it's my other screen. Don't worry, you can continue. Okay, okay. So, what is the doubt here basically for you? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, let me just put this video right now. Design. Can you, can you, can you hear? Can yeah, you hear yeah. what is happening? You can hear? Okay. Good. I cannot hear, but you know, I can see the video basically. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Just watch the video. Yes. Okay, let's go here now. You see, this is a meta surface, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Why I call you is that this paper is this paper implementable? That's why I wanted you to go through it because I want to ask you if you're having a meta surface, right? This is a unicell, each yeah. of this. So, are you saying that each of this unicell is biased, right? For the array, finite array? Correct, correct, correct. Okay. Uh, if you come here, this is all he gave for this paper. For this paper. Yeah, look at it. Look at the idea here. 
कहीं गुच यू डाइट प्लीज सो व्हाट इज रिटन देयर फ्रंट मेटल लेयर या कहीं सी और शुड आई एक्सपैंड इट या कैन यू ज़ूम अ बिट ओके आई शुड ज़ूम Okay, let me download it. I think I, of course, I've not downloaded it. Let me download it so yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, can you see now? Yeah, yeah, I can see you. Yeah, yeah, it clearly. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. Can you see now? Stop yeah, I can here. see you. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. From here, just read up to this point. Can you read? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see your screen, but uh, paper is also okay. Can you see so, the blue? Can you see blue, the blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We built our uh, you know tunable embedded surface as a lattice of square plates uh, mm -hmm. with the varactor diodes and connecting between the each each adjacent plates. We just in base as shown in figure six. six. Yeah, which can I you go to you? figure six, please? Okay, no problem, sir. Uh, otherwise, I can see see it here. Okay, no problem. You can you continue yeah. there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figure six, right? Okay. Then the diodes are micrometric, silicon hyperparabola, variators, model open, usable for capacitance ranges 0.2 to 0.8. Pick up current from two equation two. Okay, equation two. Let me check. Should I check? You have the paper there, right? Should I go to equation yeah. two? Or... Yeah, yeah, I have, I have. Okay, one second. Uh, that is, you know, basically omega naught is equal to one by root L C. Okay, equation hmm. two. Uh, from equation two, we can expect the frequency tuning range somewhat less than two is to one of with these vector diodes. Varactors, okay. Varactors is so we can substitute the uh, C value and then we can find out the uh, you know, the frequency range basically. And um, the surface is built with as a multi-layer multi-layer circuit board with three okay. metal layers and two substrate layers. So which means the two substrate they have on the bottom there is a metal layer. In between substrate mm -hmm. there is a metal layer and um, the for control. Oh, okay. Can you give me control? Okay. Uh, you have not requested. You have to request, please. No, no, no. The problem is, you know, I cannot request. They get disabled by your company. Your, your, oh. your, uh, your, uh, oh. you know. And you, but you can assign to me. Can you go to Teams, please? Yeah, I'm uh, on Teams. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Participants, people, people. Okay. Yeah. Can you click right click? Ah, uh, three dots. Can you click? Three dots. Oh, okay. It's not enabling. Okay, that's fine. Heard me? Can you okay, hear it's me? Fine. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I yeah. just one sec, one second. I can think there will be some kind of uh, uh, annotation. Let me check. Okay, sir. That is annotation I can do. Are you there? Okay. So okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, once we finalize this one, then we I we, I can share my screen and then show you. Okay. You you do you 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 work you're doing something. Sorry. Yeah. You say once it's finalized, I don't understand you, please. No, no, no. See, if we, it's no problem, we can share with this. No issues. Okay. Okay. OK, so uh, what we can do is like. Uh, OK, can you minimize this? No problem, we can just, you know. OK. Yeah, yeah. OK, so three layer means I will tell you later. No problem. So two substrates, three layers means, you know, uh, on the C. Substrate one is there on the bottom. 
uh, substrate yeah. one has a uh, two you uh, know metal layers basically and the top yeah. as well as the bottom the next uh, just above that you have one more substrate and the second sub substrate number two in that above you have metal layers okay that's fine that's fine and um, you know these surfaces is built as a multi layer circuit board three metal layers two substrate layers in fr the front metal layer um, contains lattice of square patches which means you know, the topper one top top metal layers the middle layer in the is the ground ground plane and the back yeah. layer is contains the control lines that bias the work types okay the substrate layers are 1.63 okay were designed equal thickness uh, to provide a wrapping of uh, the substrate during the fabrication the square metal that is okay six point and uh, one second let me tell you okay the bottom layer is what um, back layer is contains control lines by a circuit okay so basically can you go to figure number one okay Figure number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Figure number one. Yeah. So this is how it is done. Okay. Basically. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you see that uh, and those them just go through the paper like this. You can see there is no order that are given. Even the via is not given, but they had to come. No, 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 come down, please. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. This is the one, actually. Basically, this is the one, okay? No, no. Uh, what, what I'm trying to say, there is no other data available, given. Because Sorry? no other data, I mean, data given for this paper. No, no, no. See, see, the thing is, what I'm saying is, see, um, that there is a T, is there, right? T. T. T, yeah, yeah, right? Okay. So uh, yeah. let me take a snapshot of this and then explain you. Okay. Mm. Uh, one minute, uh, let me take another figures also. Can you scroll down, please? Can I scroll down? Okay. Yeah, scroll down, please. Ah, here, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the other. Uh, okay, it's okay. So now, now let me share my screen so that you know you can just. Uh, okay. I'll explain you because you know, now there is no possibility of uh, one second. Uh, so you got you got you cannot write on my screen from there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Can you see my screen? Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Yes, I can see. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Okay, okay. So there is a give control option is there. Did you able to see this one? This option? I can, I can see your screen. Which no, option no, no. Do you... Uh, can you see here? Give control option. New control option. Give give control. Give control. Wait, uh, no, no, no. Can... You may not be seeing now. Okay. Give now. Uh, you have, you have not given. I have not seen anything. Just a minute. Okay, please. Can you see my screen now? I, I, I've been seeing it. Diagram and the ground plane. I've been seeing that, please. OK, OK, fine. Now, see, can you see here? Uh, this is the, basically, you know, see, uh, you have a, a kind of, you know, substrate like this. Yes, yes. Yeah. Then you have a ground plane like this, OK? Yeah. Then you have a patches like this. OK? Then. Yes. That variety diodes are put, put, uh, put in this this fashion. That's what it is showing here. 
Yes, yes. There is a VAS. Yes. There is a VAS are available through yes. which the variety diodes are connected. Okay. So yeah. Then, then, uh, and then, then you have another substrate basically like this bottom layer. That substrate has the bias circuits basically. Okay. Okay. So three metal layers. One is this one, and the ground plane. Then again, you have a bias, uh, you know, biasing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. This is yeah. how it is arranged now. Okay. 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 So that's how it is showing here. So here antenna itself, no, it is only this thing, only ground plane. Then you have a bias through which you know you are connecting the variator diodes and other stuff. Yes. Then yeah, you have right. patches. Okay. Yes. This is how it is done now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you share your screen now? I should share. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying, please, I understand you very well. Yeah. Now, they say they have, um, they are using this data sheet, as you can see. MHV901, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. So, you have a CV call, right? Capacitor, uh, diode, capacitance voltage call. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, good. So <clears throat> what I'm saying, in my understanding of volatile di uh, sorry, metasurface like uh, reflect array, yeah. this circuit is biased, one. This one is biased. Can yeah. you see my screen? This one is biased. This one is biased, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, <clears throat> so they said the voltage is between, it has a usable capacitance within 0 0.2 to 0 0.8, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So it's. No, that is variator diodes. That is variator diode model number. If you put yes, that yes. in the net, no, you will find out uh, what is the data sheet as well. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. It's between 0 to 20 volts. Can you see? Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. So that means when you, I can open a data sheet here. When you plug it, you bias it between zero and 20 volts, right? Correct. So I want to, first of all, I want to confirm. Are you saying within that zero and 20 volts you're biasing? That, is this one here, this circuit here, we'll have different voltage here, we'll have different voltage here, we'll have a different voltage, right? I want to confirm that. Oh, uh, that I need to confirm because I think it should be uniform unless it is a reconfigurable one. It's a reconfigurable one, right? But uh, also reconfigurable. That's what we're doing now. Tunable. It's reconfigurable, not tunable. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I'm asking you. That's why I'm coming to meet you. So can you uh, go to that sentence, please? Okay. At uh, zero to twenty volt. The phase and magnitude of the reflection coefficient are shown in seven for various voltages. By tuning the voltages of the varactors zero to twenty. The resonant frequency can be tuned. Okay, which means it should be common for all, basically. Ah, uh, it should be common for all. Yes, 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 yes. So, from if it's from one volt to two volt to three volt, all of them should have the same. Yes, 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 yes. That is yes. the understanding I have. But the guy in France, he, okay. he was confusing me. He was saying, "Oh, because you do a unit cell, this each of them should have different voltages." So that's why. Okay, okay. See uh, that also you can do. See the thing is, see what I am doing. You see, for example, you are connecting, right? The diodes are connected, right, between uh -huh. the patches, right? So yes. what happens is, if you give um, uniform uh, voltage, it will give. You know, you see, it's a, it is going to become a soft circuit, right? Because with this, with a different amplitude and phase. So what you are doing is ultimately you are changing the phase of uh, phase 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 distribution basically. On the each position, no, whatever phase you have, so that yes. you are trying to control. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Continue. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I See, if you want to, for example, tune the frequency, so the patch size is going to same, right? For example, see, patch size is uh, the whatever the patch. No, it's a passive element, right? Patch. Yeah. Nine. Nine patch, point okay? two. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nine point two mm is patch. Okay. So yeah. now the gap is also go not going to change, right? The only Zero thing what you can play yeah. with, yeah, yeah. The only thing what you can play with this, this variator diode. What, what happens is, see, it's going to become, you know, either open and uh, 
uh, short, right? Open and short. OK, so if you control the bias voltage in the sorting also. So what is happening is see the um, the, the 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 see in general patch how you model it is in the simple patch no can be modeled as rlc circuit basically rlc circuit any transmission line can be modeled with rlc circuit okay so here yes, what we are what we are trying to say is for example a patch is a rlc circuit another patch is a rlc circuit in between i am connecting this barretta diode if you take it as a circuit approach okay Varata diode. If I tune that uh, Varata diode uh, with a certain bias voltage, what happens is so I will I will I will I'm I'm indirectly what I'm conducting uh, means uh, what, what I'm uh, disturbing is frequency, right? Frequency is combination of RLC, right? RLC that is the formula, yeah. right? Omega naught is equal to one by two uh, square root of LC. So if you can yeah. control these two parameters, you can able to control the frequency. Or in other words, I can say that it can, you can control phase and amplitude as well. So all are interrelated parameter basically. Okay. You're right. Okay. <coughs> you know, like there are some papers I've seen online. If yeah. you want to, this one, this one is a little bit complicated because there are some papers I've seen online. If you want to do the tuning, the varactyl diode is in within the unit cell, not is not sharing within one unit cell another. Am I making sense? Sorry, sorry. I say yeah, that yeah. this this paper is different. Uh, why why do I say it's different? Because yeah. other papers, if you check online, it will be a varactyl diode or a diode inside a unit cell, not sharing. So what I mean is, this you say this one is this one here is sharing oh. varactyl diode with this one. But if you look at other papers, you will see the varactyl diode inside the paper itself. Or inside oh, the, okay, you are saying that inside the the patch itself, right? Yeah, inside the patch itself, not sharing. Yeah, yeah that is, that you can do. See here, actually. See. No, no, no. I said I said that's why this one is a little bit not straightforward. Am I making sense? Yeah, yeah, it's more straightforward. See, the thing is, you are you know controlling the phase distribution basically on the whole. No, what you are doing is controlling the phase distribution. Uh, let us say, for example, phase delay concept, right? Phase delay, how it works. So, if you want to steer the beam. Or you know, uh, steer the beam. What will happen? You have to control the phase, uh, phase distribution among each element, right? All the element, right? Here also, you are doing this indirectly doing the same thing. Same here, actually, I am configuring, reconfiguring the frequency, not the. Uh, uh, in, but in in the in the sense that it is uh, also affecting the phase and amplitude. So that's what you are doing. Can you go to next figure, please? Next page, please. I will tell you how they have done. Next page, please. Fourth page. Hello. 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 Hello, can you hear me? Hello?
Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, the network also went bad. Sorry. Oh, it's I okay. It's okay. I, I was no thinking problem. it was from you. No issues. Yes. Can you see this paper? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, one, one, just to give me one minute. Just to give me one minute. No problem, sir. Oh my God. Yeah, no, no, I cannot see your paper. You cannot see? Yeah, what? yeah. Can you share your screen, please? Oh, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, now can I, I can see? see. Yeah, now I can you see. see. Yeah. yeah, you can see. Meta surface. Look at yeah. this. Uh, can you see it? You can see the varactyl diode is in between the unit cell. Can you see the varactyl diode here? Yeah, 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 I can see. Yeah, yeah, see, it has a yeah, yeah. different purpose, basically. Yes, yeah, see, yeah. So what has, I'm you know, because, you know, the thing is, uh, mm, uh, to so steer the beam, they've used a different approach. Yes. Yes, yes. So what I'm saying is that my own paper that I sent with you, the varactyl diode is sharing between one unit cell. Am I making sense? Uh, see this paper. Can, uh, yeah, can you come again, please? Yeah, look at look at this. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, I can uh, see yours. Yeah. The old, the paper I just share with you now. I said the varactyl diode is inside the unit cell. It's not sharing like our own here. So there's a difference. Okay. Okay. So, hey, but the, the diode diode is you know diode is you know in, in this interconnected, right? That's what the sentence is also saying. Yes, no, yeah, this one, yes, interconnected, yes, but this one. Correct, the thing is, see, see, that circle, yeah. no, the circle is showing that through which, like, the, through the wire, you are biasing the circle, yes. that's it. I know, I know, no, you don't understand what I'm saying, yes, I understand. I said this, look at, there are two, yeah? yeah? This one, let me see, this is A, this is B. The yeah. character diode is connected in between, can you see? Yes, it? correct, correct, correct. Am I right? Okay. But look, yeah. this one is also biased. Can you see bias? Yeah. But it's yeah. inside the unit cell. So, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So you see, it's a different approach. Correct, correct. Different approach. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So you see, by adjusting the voltage of the DC bias of the voltage, we can... Yes. Adjust. So I can so, tell you, see, I can so, tell you some of the examples, like, for example, there is, you know, reconfigurable antenna available, for example, for the mobiles and other uh, stuff, okay? So there, yeah. what they would do is, see, they will have a certain structure, okay? For example, F kind of structures. Um, one minute, actually, let me share with your screen, some screen. Okay, okay. Let me let me share share and uh, tell you how okay. it works, basically. So oh, whatever do you, you are do you, do, you, do you understand my phone? Yeah, I yeah. understood, understood. See, you are saying that, you know, in, in the one structure, you're having a wire like this, and, uh, you know, you have a, a patch with a wire like this. Through via I am biasing the varator diode, then you have a, for example, diode like this. Correct? Yes. This is the yes. one structure. The other yes. structure is, for example, you know, it is something like this. Yeah. Like this. Inside yes. the this one, I am having yes. varator diode. Yes. That's what I, so, so now I can tell you one, uh, for example, simple, you know, there are multiple applications similarly they are using. For example, you know, a, a F kind of structures. If you search for internet, no, you search in the internet, you will find a lot of structures like this. Okay, okay, like this, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, so they will have some kind of break, and then you, they will have another structure like this. Okay, so for example, see, it is all together. What what I'm doing is, see, for example, see, any patch antenna design, any antenna design. Okay, it boils down to lambda by two, lambda g by two, basically. Correct. Any antenna design, no. So for example, you know, lambda g by two, we used to call it as. Why we call it as lambda g by 2? So you can see that. Hello? Hello? Uh, 
No, no, no. I, I, I have a connector. I am also connected, right? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, that is it's strange. Oh, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see very well, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. So here, see, any uh, antenna design, no? So basically, it will start with the lambda g by 2, right? Yeah. Lambda g yeah. by 2, correct, correct. So how yeah. it comes, see, you can see that simple patch antenna let us take. Okay, then you will have a, a ground plane. Then, you know, if you take the voltage current, so it will be kind of, you know, half wave, half wave, right? Half wave, which is lambda G by two. If you take the current distribution, it will be a half wave. If you take the voltage distribution, it will be half wave. So lambda G by two, so why they are going? Initially, it, the concept came from uh, basically dipole, basically dipole, okay? So dipole, no, they initially started with the lambda, how water lambda and the other stuff, okay? They see the, the, the length, see, they wanted to match it with the 50 ohm, correct? They wanted okay. to match with the 50 ohm. So I that time, no, that they, they kept on varying the lambda and then find out that, okay, uh, approximately 0.495 lambda, you are saying, you are seeing that 50 ohm matching is coming. Correct. That, that, that is the concept they derived from the, uh, okay. So that we adopt for many patch design, but it cannot be, may not be, uh, you know, uh, for the applicable, for the reconfigurable one, but still, okay. So lambda G by 2. Now, what happens is see, this operating, this size will operate in one particular uh, uh, frequency, right? For example, mm -hmm. let's say, so in, a, in in the whole structure, you know, if you put a, you can, you can put a varietal diode like this, okay? Mm -hmm. On the whole structure, it may operate in very low frequency, for example, 800 megahertz, something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you yes. disconnect this one, if you, you know, if you are going, not going to bias this one, it will become open circuit. So the, what happens is only, you know, you are feeding the input here. For example, let us say you are feeding the input here, and uh, you know this particular structure alone will be there. This particular structure may be operating in 900 megahertz. Okay, but you know uh, the, this this in, inside this structure we have a several uh, you know uh, frequencies operating. Correct. That's how you up obtain the wide band frequency range, right? Wide band frequency. Yes. How you are obtaining because in each part of the patch is you know contributing for some frequency that you, that therefore you are getting. And for example. You can, uh, you know, the sp split this into four pieces, like, for example, like this. Let me check. Uh, second. Let us say like this, okay? You split this into these kind of pieces. Mm -hmm. I understand this, yeah. For example, like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you can connect a, uh, see, you are only feeding here. For example, this is about, you know, not, may not be practically not possible also. You are feeding yeah. here. If you only feed this structure, you will get some frequency resonance, right? Okay. Yeah. Then you are adding yeah. some varietal diode here. You are only biasing this circuit. So this will become the whole structure, right? This will become short circuit. That's, that's circuit. Yes. Then it will contribute for some lo lower frequency, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because when the wavelength is increasing, sorry, uh, lower frequency will come. Correct. Right? Then you again, you can add this uh, varietal diode. But on the whole, this is the single structure only, correct? That's what yeah. you are saying, right? The Hutch structure, no? That is basically within the structure, you have a varietal diode. But no, yeah, what are, yes, okay, continue, continue. I don't want to be so Yeah, varietal yeah. diode, see, but in the other is the C1 paper paper, right? This is yes. the uh, Hubaya. Yeah, yes, yeah. In, uh -huh. Interlink, and then, uh -huh. so if you control, you see the same applicable here also, right? If you, you know, if you are connecting this one, then it will operate in different frequency. If you are connecting this one, it will operate in different frequency. If you are connecting this one, if it will be operating in different frequency, right? So therefore, mm -hmm. you know, similarly, the C1 Piper pair also, also, like what, what he is doing, like, you know, he is biasing this di diode between the one. So what happens is, see, on the whole, no, it is uh, tunable. So depending upon the biasing that you give, uh, for what example, yes. yeah, that's how, yeah. you know, the, 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 uh frequencies are getting changed that's all yes okay yeah i know yeah 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 i understand what i'm trying to say i understand your concept i'm saying yeah. for one 
the one you just explained, the, or the one on top there, you say the varactyl diode is biasing the unicell. You yeah. understand each unicell, but this other one, yeah. the varactyl diode is biasing within two unicell. Exactly, exactly. God bless you. So now, if you want to create a unicell for the first one there, you see it's very simple. You just create a unicell and a varactyl diode inside. Am I yeah. making sense? But for this Dan yeah. Stephen Piper, how do you yeah. create a unicell for Dan Stephen Piper? Because in one unicell, you have about three unicells surrounding it. Correct, correct, correct. All right, do, do you get my, my question now? Yeah, this yeah, other yeah. one is simple. The first one, one, yeah, is simple. Yeah, yeah, no, don't draw again. Yeah, the one on top is simple to do because if I want to do one unicell simulation, I just do one unicell, put a variable inside the um, design, I simulate. Okay, but for that, okay. yeah, for Daniel Steven Piper, I have to, I cannot just create one unit cell because that unit cell, you see about four vector diodes around it. Am I making sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, yeah, the yeah. thing is, you know, say, I think you cannot simulate. I believe, you know, if you do it as a simulation, see so unit cell, you know, why one quadrant you can take and then simulate. That is one thing. But if you are going to replicate that. But I, uh, I believe that may not applicable. See, here, what you, are go what you can do is, for example, if you want to replicate that paper, you have to entirely simulate. Okay, but one unit cell, no, for example, this kind of concept with via ground plane, then you can have a patch and then simulate it. That you can do, for example, one particular patch. This is, you know, via, then your backside, you will have a ground plane, right? This this you can simulate. But with the yeah, diode, well, you cannot simulate as a unit cell, right? You have to simulate as a whole structure, basically. Okay, yeah. So what you are saying that for that paper, I cannot do one unit cell simulation. Exactly. God bless you. you but you yeah. see where my question comes from now. You understand where I was coming from now in yes, my head. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you see why I was bringing that paper and tell you, can you, sorry, can you understand my, the idea of where I'm coming from? Yeah. Because yeah, for yeah. example, your reflect array, like uh, metasurface, if you want to do the whole, you design one unit cell and understand the performance before you do the array, finite array. Am I making sense? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you come again, please? <coughs> sorry, sorry for that. Uh, come again, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I want to show you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me stop sharing. Because, you know, I did not understand your question now. Okay. I'm looking for my paper. First of all. Can you see my screen? No, 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 not it. OK. Hmm. I say, can you see my screen now? Uh, no, 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 not it. Can you see it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I say, like when you're doing a reflect array, right? Like metasurface. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to see the performance of that um, finite array, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five yeah. by five, ten by, you do one, only one. Yeah, yeah. Cell, right? Good. Like what I showed you the other day, last week yeah. or last two weeks. So yeah. what I say, I say for this structure, you see, you cannot do, can you see my diagram? Yeah, yeah, diagram. I can see you. I cannot do just one unit cell and simulate because one unit yes. cell has four varactyl diodes. Exactly, exactly. You cannot do that. You cannot do Good. that. Yes. So what you're yes. saying in this circuit, I have to do the whole exactly simulation. Yes. Is yes. that what you're saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you have to bias and then you know you have to excite and then simulate it. That's it. Okay. Good. So this is that's why I say this circuit compared to what you are when is a varactyl diode inside is complicated than a simple. Unicell. Am I making sense? Uh, because the whole, whole, whole unit cell. Yeah, whole, whole structure is the. Uh, see, you, you need not go for a unit cell approach itself. Okay. Can you go yeah. up, please? Go, go up, yeah. please. Uh, yes. Go up, please. Up, yeah. Yeah, impedance surface only, right? So you are going to control the biasing only. Kind, kind of, you know. Um, so by controlling the biasing, you are going to, so you, you can uh, simulate as a whole structure. That's what I, I believe, I, it should be great. Because, you know, but you know, the, for example, if you want to only evaluate the unit cell alone, 
by in the ebg structure or anything like that so small you know for example one unit cell with the yeah you can try out but you know the problem is you cannot you know what you will evaluate you will evaluate that it will operate in some frequency it will have certain reflection properties that's all right but here you have to do it as a whole structure that should be fine that's what i'm saying okay you see why i bring that paper to explain why i say this one is a little bit complicated because the other one you have a variator yeah. diode inside you just do it and simulate yeah yeah that you, is you can do unit cell and alone unit cell oh, yeah. alone correct I'm very happy. So, do you understand where I'm coming from now? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah I can good. understand. Understood your point. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good. God bless you. So that's why I say this paper is very, yeah. very technical compared because the, you know, like your reflector ray, I quote to you, you show on YouTube, you yeah. say, oh, if you want to know how this structure is, do one unit cell. But for this paper, you cannot do only one unit cell. Am I correct, making correct, sense? Correct, 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 yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct, correct. correct. But, yeah, good. So I want to see uh, one other thing. This paper is is computationally very very heavy because it's twenty five by twenty five structure, correct, and they're using correct. one antenna. Can I can, can I use a plane wave? Yeah, yeah, you can use a plane wave, and then you know excite it. See here, you know you have to bias it, and then you can excite the plane wave, and then see what is the. I think you can ask Fabrice for that. So he is very good in that uh, area. Okay, so you can just ask him that you know for example. Uh, uh yeah continue continue uh, then then so, you can just you know uh, uh uh ask for it how to excite the plane wave and all then you can just get it that done basically well do, do you know how to use cst and connect all these things before have you done it before uh, okay. see the thing is i have not done it before but i know the approach that we can follow for example you have to what you have to do is you have to model these patches in the uh -huh. 3d domain and then you okay. have to go to schematic there will be just a, uh, i just do but it you, there you is have, a schematic you have not you have not done it before yeah uh, i have not done it before but you know the schematic option is there there you can just you know plug and play that uh, it will show you all the patches okay you have okay. to plug and play the in between the yeah. variator diodes that's all okay okay, okay. good good You're, we are almost there now god bless you yes Yes. Well, yes. Don't, don't worry. It's good. See, the thing is, right. you know, the biasing voltage. You know, in CST, you can give it as simple as that. But the problem is, if you want to evaluate the whole thing, then what you have to do is you have to make a circuit there, and then you you uh, you know uh, can give a connection to all. Okay. Uh, or you uh, can do it in the ADS part, ADS side. No, there is a one way possible, but it will be you know uh, somewhat you know complicated. But still, if you want to do it, then you can do it. Okay. What is you can do is you can. Uh, Make the biasing circuit in the ADS, and then you can do this here. Where there will be a, some call function is available. Uh, you can do that also. That okay, way that, also that, you can that, do it. That, that yeah. is a course like course simulation. Yeah, course simulation you can do. Or yeah. you know, another option is there. For example, MATLAB Simulink. In Simulink, you know, you can make a biasing circuit, and then you can do a course simulation with the MATLAB also. So it's going oh. to be the same only. Yeah. Oh, okay, but but I need a higher a computer that is very high in in computation yeah. because it's going to be oh. much. Then I'm okay, actually, you can I'm do not, what you can do. I'm, see in CST, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In CST, no. What you can do is see. You can put the wire to diode. Uh, when you go to when you go to schematic, right? There is a three dimensional will be there. There is a, just adjacent to that schematic will be there. If you go to schematic, no. Click on that. You will see the structure, it patches whatever you designed already. Okay. Then you have to do is plug and play, plug and play, like you know uh, drag and drop uh, kind of thing. You have to drag and drop the variator diodes and then connect between these two points. Okay, wherever uh, connect, appropriate points, no. You just connect accordingly. Then what you can do is then uh, the biasing, no. Um, either you know, see you can just give biasing straight away there there itself. For example, zero to twenty volt means ten volt or five volt or whatever it may be. I've tried Be that. It's, dif it's difficult to get on CST unless you do course simulation. It's not straightforward like that. No, no, because no, no. You can do it. See, CST. No, see, what will happen is, see, you need not have a biasing circuit. You can just uh, supply the voltage alone. It will ask for a voltage, correct? Okay. Uh -huh. Alpha, okay. Uh, alpha voltage. You can just give directly. You can feed the uh, biasing value directly. Okay. But the problem is, there you will not have a biasing circuit, real circuit. You will just enter the value and then do it, which will be good for the simulation purpose. Okay. Anyway, biasing circuit going to give that value, right? Correct. Okay, so is it by using capacitor? Yeah, yeah, capacitor. See, this is variator diodes. No, you just uh, drag and drop the variator diode, and then in that itself, you parameter, uh, parameter, you know, in that parameter itself, you can set the variable. For example, bias voltage like that, you can very give variable, and then okay. you know what you can do is you can be using parameter sweep. No, you can just give, uh, uh, oh. for example, zero to twenty volt like that. Okay. 
No, you, like uh, that, what, right? what you are saying, I should do yeah. a mapping capacitance. Mapping. Yes, Use yes, the capacitor, yes. then put the value of the variable. No, no, no. Also. What I'm saying is, see, in a variable diode itself, it, it is available in the component library. Okay, library, it is available. Yes, you can that just is drag and drop speaker. that yes, and give speaker. a connection. For example, you know, uh, A to B, B to C, like that, you can give a connection, right? Connection. In that uh, diode, if you double click it, you know, it will ask for parameters, right? There you can give a variable, for example, uh, bias voltage kind of thing. Then that variable, no? You can use a parametric sweep to do that. Parametric, you just do a parametric sweep from 0 to 20 volt in steps of 2 volt or 1 volt like that. Then you will see the parameter sweep as well. For example, you can okay. see the how it is, you know, recon uh, frequencies are getting changed like that. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the, you see why I was confused? You see, some paper is not straightforward. Thank you very much, um, yeah, Professor. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Can you see no this? Problem. It's a bandwidth yeah, yeah. of reflect array. It is yeah. known that the geometry of the resonant elements can have a significant impact on the. Yeah, can you zoom a bit? Array. Zoom a bit, please. Okay, okay, sorry, please. Can you see now? Yeah, zoom, zoom, please. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Now I can see clearly. Just here. Can you see? Um, it is known. That the geometry of a resonant element can have a significant effect on the performance of refractor lay. Reference at 16, So we examine the effect of the plate geometry on the properties of addiction. For example, a thin wire grid structure has a greater tuning range than a broad plate structure. That is true. This one is better, you see. Circular is better than this. I understand that. Do you understand? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh... Related devices known as grid have demonstrated one D steering. One D steering a... means in one axis. That's it. Well, okay, no, X or Y. Right? Yes, yes, exactly. So when they say 2D, you are talking of X and Y. Okay. Yeah, X and Y, exactly. Yes. So we so simulated a, a series of structures. Imagine this period. This, okay, continue. Yeah, please, please, please. Continue. You are asking a question. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. You can continue. We simulated a series of structures using HFSS. Imagine this periodic structure. One unit cell is sufficient to determine the reflection phase. That's why I bring that one unit. So maybe they are just trying different structure, one unit cell, but not this one. Because this is a practical demonstration, not a simulation. Do you understand me? Uh... I said this is practical, you know. This is not simulation, right? Uh, basically... Are you confused somewhere, please? Yeah, yeah. Can you come again, please? That's why you know. I'm just you know I wanted to. I said uh, the, uh, why I talk about one unit cell because they say yeah we simulated a series of structures which uh, so they want to test process. which yes they want to test which one has better bandwidth this kind of structure correct 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 correct, correct, correct correct before they yeah, now yeah. use this one yeah, yeah am I right yeah yeah, yeah correct, so, correct correct so they said typically the single unit cell is placed I'm sorry one unit cell can you see here one unit cell yeah, is yeah. sufficient to determine the reflection phase. Like what okay. I said before, one unit cell is sufficient. But I don't think so they the use DAC, one unit cell. See, 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 wait, 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 one minute. See, so this unit cell they are talking about is, uh, as I said before itself, right? They are only talking about that patch, that's all. Patch with okay. the VR and then ground plane, that's all. Okay? Okay. Okay, so okay. can you go up, please? That uh, figure number four, right? That is for the, you know, different unit cell they have tried. They here there is no active circuit is coming, uh, varactor diode is coming in picture now. Only the okay. patch VR, that's all. Okay. Okay. Then you can so do this, unit cell simulation. Yeah. Yeah. So but, but the performance in, in conclusion, the performance of this design, you have to do the whole, the whole structure, not one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. See, you can see here. Yeah, it is you see, it is very clearly mentioned. Related yeah. devices known as a grid arrays have already been demonstrated. One T steering using a series of metal strips were printed on the ground substrate grounded substrate uh, connected by varactor diodes. That's it. For 1D okay. steering, basically. If okay. you want to evaluate that 1D steering, then you have to do that. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So now I want to ask you, please. This, 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 um, if you look at this thing, I had to parameter, I had to do parameterization to get the VR. There's no VR given. VR dimension is not given. So you, you have to just, you know, uh, drill a cylinder and then you subtract it. That's it. Huh? Yeah, please. Yes, please. I said there's no VR given. Hmm. Sorry? VR dimension. No, yeah, VR dimension, given. right? Yeah, it's okay. not given. <laughs> no, 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 no. It should be there. No, it's not there. I've checked. It's not there. 
I can okay. assure you. So I had to, I had to do parameterization. Now, why I call you, when, I, when they talk beam steering, refractor layer, metastrophics, you always hear about phase gradients. Correct, correct, correct. There's no phase gradient here to implement this beam. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Phase gradient is nothing but your that varactor diodes. What you are connecting, right? Right by by controlling the biasing. What you are doing indirectly? I as I mentioned before, see. Any phase can be changed, a phase or frequency or an interrelated parameter, basically. Okay, okay. So uh, let me tell you uh, in this fashion. Okay, shall I share my screen? Yes, sure. I will tell you. You are I'm saying that. You are saying that there is no phase gradient. How come this steering is happening? That's what you are saying, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, they, they, Correct. they should give us so I can I can replicate the paper. Correct. Do you understand me? Yeah. 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 Wait. 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 I will tell you. Like this. Okay. Then you have a uh, you know we are like this we are like this we are like this yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So you assume that you know four by five by four like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you are connecting this uh, diode diode like this. Correct. Yes, correct? please. But okay. diode. Now, now, now you are saying that you need to have phase gradients between this one. Then only I can get you the. So uh, let me tell you how uh, the 1D steering happens. If you are using linear array, you will can have I you know uh, 1D steering. Even to a binary, binary, you know, planar array also you can do, do the 1D steering. 1D steering means by something like this. Okay. X, Y, Z. So this is the structure. Okay. okay. If I am only steering the beam in this uh, direction, then it will count as 1D steering. If I am okay, steering exactly. the beam like this, like this. Like this, which is having both the y and c, y and z. z, z. For example, okay. if you decode that one, this is the okay. y and okay. This is how. Now okay. you are saying that you know. Uh, see, as I mentioned before, so if you connect, if you are connecting these two patches, means effectively uh, wavelength is getting changed, right? Yes, yeah, sine wave like this. Okay, mm -hmm. correct. A sine mm -hmm. wave like this, right? Mm -hmm. So a uh, yeah, wave is propagating in a single unit cell like this. Okay, a yeah, okay. wave is propagating in this single unit cell. It will okay. have a certain property, right? For example, yeah, yeah wavelength. Maybe, 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 see some phase. It is into. It will introduce some phase because my check out my previous videos. It is there. It is mentioned clearly mentioned how the phase variation will be there and all, all that stuff. So, in terms of sine wave, no. If I have a phase variation, means what? Instead of here. I'm, I can have, you know, if I'm giving yeah, frequency changes like this, if I'm changing frequency means what? You see, you take this point, this point as x, this is a x, or this point, and a y with respect, this is the y point, this is the y point, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the y point, same point, okay? If you see here, the frequency is, this one is low frequency, this is high frequency. The phase, what is the, what about the phase? Here it is showing plus 90, here it is showing minus uh, 270, something like that, right? Okay. There is a change, right? There is okay. a change, right? That's yeah. how I'm saying. So if you are changing frequency means indirectly what you are doing, change the phase also. So uh, ultimately what I'm trying to say is, see, there is a XC parameter, is there, right? Uh, reactance, right? 1 divided mm -hmm. by J omega C, something like that will come. Right? J, J, J omega C. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is mm -hmm. the capacitance. This mm -hmm. is the frequency, angular frequency, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have a change in capacitance, okay, and also the angular frequency, indirectly what you are doing effectively, the active reactance is getting changed, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Correct? Yes. Similarly yes. for the JWL also. But and also see the, this uh, what happens is so you are indirectly what you are doing the by biasing by controlling the bias of the circuit. What you are doing? You are controlling the phase and amplitude of the waves that is propagating on the on the surface or getting Hello. 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 Hello.
Alors que... Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear the record. Yeah, sorry. It's like when you when you disrupt the network, it affects me. Yeah, you receive the oh. call. That, yeah, yeah. So if you have any disruption, it's okay, it's okay. It's, uh, yeah, it disrupts here. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you okay. see my screen now? Yeah. Yes, please continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, so that's why you know. See, so for example, you know, when a wave, for example, see, this is the patch. Let us say this is the patch. Mm -hmm substrate then you have a vr then you have a patch like this yes, yes then you yes, have a yes. ground plane like this okay yes please. when a wave yes. incident on this what will happen yes. is see that this structure is basically you know uh introduce some phase okay okay introduce okay. some phase because so uh, each, each, wave, is each, each of those structures each of the each of the patch induce, induce yes. from the structure okay correct okay correct. then when you are connecting them we you know with the bias circuit uh, like a variator diode in yeah. what you're doing, you're manipulating the phase as well, right? Correct. An amplitude, an amplitude, yes. Okay. So the thing is the amplitude and phase, both, both. Okay, okay. Because see, 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 the capacitance changing means what? Phase is changing, correct? Yes, yes, please. Capacitance is a storage device, right? If you yeah. take it as a LC circuit, RLC circuit, okay, yeah. RLC circuit, if you can model it as RLC circuit, and then if you are changing these, any one of them, LC or anything, indirectly what okay. you're doing, you're changing <laughs> the phase, right? Correct. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when a wave propagating this, for example, any amplitude, any wave, no. For example, let's say uh, a e power j phi theta like that. It will will be modeling, right? This phi is basically different. Uh, depends upon the uh, amplitude and phase only, right? So that way, that way we are just changing this phase. That's it. Okay. In the layman language. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, can you see my screen? Just a minute. Yeah, I know. I can see. Okay. Those. Oh, you, uh, I will. I will repeat what they are saying here because you cannot hear what they are saying. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. This illustrates. Okay, this is illustrating a four level phase scheme. You understand? Yeah. From the top there, four level phase scheme. Okay. Yeah. 0, 090, 90 to 180, and 180 to 272, related to some reference phase. Am I making sense? Yeah, exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. That okay. is what it is making. Okay. Yeah, reflection phase, right? There okay. is a relative parameter. See, if you have a uniform phase, you will get a normal uh, distribution, right? Normal, uh, you know, uh, the collimation you will have have with the uh, minus 13 dB uh, side level, level in general. But if you have relatively, the phase should be relatively different, for example. For example, see, uh, between A and B, you have a 90 degree, B and C, you have a 90 degree, that does not make sense. 
but you know uh, if you want to steer the beam then you have to what you have to do is yeah between a and b you are having x y x phase b and c you have a different phase there it's a relative parameter phase is a relative parameter that's all okay let me just finish it then i go okay the similar voltages to an array of similar elements Using this electrically activated uh, array, do you understand me? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Yes. Okay. Yes. I can. You can address the face of that face uh, of grid by addressing the 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 space between the antennas. Am I follow? Are you following? Yeah, yeah, I am following. We are seeing something bigger, like you know. For example, the relative phase and adjust. Yeah, those things are there. You can address. You can adjust the slope of the phase gradient okay. by changing the number of antennas. Okay. okay. You say over here, this identical phase level. No, no. So now I want to ask you. So what is the what is the clarification I'm here? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I want to. Uh, this is a question I'm bringing. Yeah, yeah, please. You can uh, listen and then you know, can tell me the gist of it, then we can discuss on uh, top of that. Yeah. Oh, you say what? You say what? what no, no, it? you can just, you know, because I cannot listen that video. You can listen okay, and I, then you can tell me what is in the mentioned there. Then I can, you know, tell my perspective. Oh, you know, I'm just giving, I'm just giving an idea of what I was saying, face gradient, because you cannot hear yeah, I was saying what he's saying. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, correct, uh, correct, uh, correct. Okay, okay. Okay, now. Let me, I'm going to show you, you, uh, you it's going to be an exciting day, um, short with the dancing and Piper, innovative research. Like, okay. This is the paper here. Can you see it? So look at it. Yeah, yeah. So special phase distribution for the metal surface, blah, 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 blah. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, is, I can uh, see. It. Yeah. So look at it. Demonstration of dynamic scale of multi special phase distribution A. This is A with different repeat numbers, values that are used to create phase gradients resulting in beam steering. B. Simulation results of the beam steering obtained through analytical calculation. Changing the RM from 2 to 6, the steering angles of 22.7 degrees, 14.56 degrees, 10.86, 8.66, 7 7.2 were obtained through calculations. Are you, are you following? I did not follow that actually because I can you don't see understand what? this. Yeah, can you zoom a bit? Oh, I cannot sorry. See that oh, 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 I'm very, very sorry, please. No problem. Yeah, yeah, please, please tell me now. Yeah, B, this is B, yeah. B, this okay. Is this is A, yeah, which I, yeah. Special phase distribution of the metals of element with different repeat elements, R and values that are used to create phase gradients resulting in beam steering. This A, yeah, results yeah. in phase, good. B, simulation results, this one, this B, yeah. Okay. Of the beam steering method obtained through analytical calculation, this one, yeah. Changing the mm -hmm. RM value from 2 to 6, the steering angle of 22.7 degrees, all this degree, yeah, 14.156, 10.86, 8.6. Wait, 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 wait. see, uh, R and is what, A repeat number? Yes, okay. please. Which means well, the number of elements or what, what is it? Yes, number. Look at it. Pixel repetition number. Okay, okay. Can you see here? By changing the pixel number, can you see? Okay, okay, okay. I got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. So this so is. So what is C the here. doubt here? Doubt here. Yeah, I can understand this perspective. So what is the oh, doubt here? I'm coming. Each experimental result of the beam steering metal surface. Changing the RM value from 2 to 6, we can obtain the steering angles of this. Yes. Each steering angle corresponds to the special phase distribution of the same color presented in A. Yeah, this, yeah correct. Yes. Good. I, I want to, I, I like going step by step to explain myself. Why I'm asking this now, phase distribution of this paper. Look at here. For A plane steering, the field horn is oriented so that the electric field lines within the horizontal plane. The surface was programmed, can you see? Should I yeah, increase yeah, it? Yeah. For zero degrees, this is zero degrees, 10 degrees, 20 yeah, yeah. degrees, got, got, yeah, got it, got 30, yeah, yeah. 40 degrees. It could yeah. steer by an equal amount of the opposite direction. Yeah, that is possible. Correct. 
So what they are saying is, see, if okay. we can do it, see, they are showing the results only for the one half, basically, yes. one half. But they okay. can do it for the other half also. Same thing. So this is E field. This is H field. Yeah, correct. Okay, good. Now let me surprise you. I have some results here. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah I can see this. Yeah. Are you surprised? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, so, exciting. yeah. So this is the, the structure here. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. This take me days. If I have bigger of this thing, I take 30 minutes, but this took me about 20 something hours. The time 37, 6 hours. Can you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 25 by 25. Yes, yes. So I could not do unit cell. So this is what I do. So what I use, I use a plane wave excitation. Are you correct, with me? Correct, 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 correct. Exactly. You have, not, you have not used before. Can yeah, you that's why, you know, see, you are, you know, staring with the, you know, for example, offset fed man kind of uh, excitation. That's why you are getting a stared angle, like, basically. So what? basically, if you excite normal, then you will get normal pattern. Yeah, straight, to be straight, okay. yeah. Uh, what I was telling you, no, 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 go back to the CST, I will tell you. I will tell you. See, there is a schematic available, right? 3D, there is a schematic available, right? I, I know. But yeah, I, I've checked that. I even asked. I made, I made a, what do you call it? Hmm. No, no, no. Schematic. Can you go to schematic, please? On the bottom, right, right, yeah, right. I, I know, I know. It's yeah, not easy okay. to do this. Look at. It's not easy to do 20. Look at. Okay. That's what I was telling you. I've asked people you could not. So I'm going to show you what I did. It's very complicated. But a cost simulation is easy. Maybe with ADS. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, okay. post simulation. You see that? That's what I was telling you. You see? No, no, so no, no, no. I think, you know, you model it as a unit cell. No, it's not unit cell. No, please. Okay, no, okay. There's a, there's a, okay, okay. Can't, can't, can't. It's a whole structure it is taking. Yes. Yeah, now I understood. I understood. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, each can element, see. no. Uh, the thing is, you know, unless you have each excitation point, it will show it as a one one uh, circuit only. Yeah, space. yeah. So you see, I have to create. I mean, you're telling me 625. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, do you understand? That's so what, what you can do is, see, you can make it as a you know uh, each exit point uh, uh, exit point. No, you can use same thing. For example, see, but each exit, what you can do is, if you want to connect the variator diode here. You can create a port in each uh, patch, basically. Create a port in each patch. Then you connect that port here. That's all. You connect that port, but don't forget, you're going to, what about your electromagnetic space? Because you're going to have 625. Do you understand? Yeah, I have yeah, yeah, that, case, yeah, you know, that is something it is very difficult, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, why, that's why I said core simulation, maybe with ADS. That would be better for this kind of structure with the bias line. Do you understand me? Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, or MATLAB. I don't know MATLAB, maybe ADS. Um, so look at what yeah. has happened. Are you are you happy? You can see this. This is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good. So you've done so a fantastic is, job, basically. Yeah, lumped yeah, elements, so is, you connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did now, you can see the structure. I use a plane wave. Correct. Can you see? Because yeah, I can see your screen, yeah. yeah. The paper say, I use the structure. Look at it. Set up for measuring the radiation pattern for tunable so it was oriented at 45 degrees. So this was a yes. plane wave transmitter. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, 45 degrees are exciting. Basically. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and eliminated from a feed below by feed one. But I can't use feed one. Yeah, I'm using it because remember. Yeah, 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 that is possible. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, no remember, problem. I told you there was one time we did a horn, but it takes a lot of computational power. Remember? Yeah, because I have to do one horn here and one horn here. So I use plane wave. Yes. Remember, you did a horn for me once. I said that is going to take power. The yeah. surface and field horn were rotated between the vertical axis, and the radiation pattern was measured in the horizontal plane by the second received by this. Correct, right? Correct, correct. Yes. Good. Good. So, what I did is 45 degrees. So now I had to look for what can I do to measure this? Because I, ha I need a receiver here. Right? Yeah, you can have a so, horn antenna there. No problem. That is also possible. No, it's computational. So, you know, this yeah, space. Yeah, it's yeah. going to take space. This, this is a metal surface, and there's a ground plane at the bottom. Correct, correct, correct. Come on, ground. Can you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know the metal surface is made in reference to ground. That's okay. PEC. Huh? Okay, okay. 
So, yeah, I saw, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get it. It's interesting, right? Yeah, correct. So what I now, you can I use the probe. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, ah, you see, you see the probe now. Yeah, yeah. So the probe is now put at 45 degrees to measure okay. the reflectance. Okay. Am I making sense? Yeah, yeah. Perfectly, basically. See, you are emulating the measurement setup, basically. That's it. Yes, yes. Correct. God bless Correct. you. God bless okay. you. So now, this was the result I got. You, you will not share this one publicly. It's just between me and you because of documents. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see? Yeah, I can see your screen. Yes. So let's. Uh, can you see? How do I put this now so that we can see together? Can you see this? Correct, correct. Yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah can you see? Yeah, yeah. 3.5, 4, uh, 11 is the 4. Yeah, 4.5 like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can you see similar, right? Yeah, yeah. Phase is zero crossing at 3.5. And yes. uh, amplitude magnitude is there at 3.5. There is a resonant at 3.5. Yeah, yeah. I can see you this thing. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good, good. You're happy seeing this. Nice design. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. I don't know so, how you spend that much time to my my, my yeah. brother, it is very difficult. Sorry? So you know what? I say it's difficult to uh, this it just take a lot of time and thinking see yeah yeah so now i want to show you something so you know yeah. what i did yeah when you go to the yeah sorry the lump element yeah yeah okay then you can set the capacitor value here yeah no it's also one another way hey, yeah diode yeah. you can make it as a diode or a lump element. See, yeah, so I process. put I put um, series, RS yes. series of about two ohms. Look at two it. ohms. Okay, okay. Because Varactor is about two kilo ohms or there about. Then I put Correct. capacitor Correct. and I sweep it. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, okay. You see, so you can see I sweep it. You yeah, yeah, I saw that results as well. Yeah, okay, where you, so, sweep the, you sweep so, the capacitor as well as this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what happened? I went to the Varactor data sheet. Oh, oh God, I didn't put the data sheet here. I didn't put the data sheet here. Okay. Um, I have it, should I? I think it's here. Can you stop sharing so that I can share the... Stop, yeah, sorry, yeah, no problem. Stop, stop the record, recording. No, I, you stop. I said the rec recording. Oh, okay. Can I stop recording this? Or okay, I I was saying don't please don't share this because it's my you understand. Yeah, stop stop recording this. No, no, no. It's okay. I said, but don't no. You can record. I said just let it be between me and you because of my yeah. document. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Uh, uh, um, where where did I keep it? Okay. Can you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't see the data sheets. Sorry. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yes, please. Okay, please, I, I, I'm coming.
Please, I want to show you the data sheet to explain, to conclude what I did. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to send it now. Please. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, please. I'm just trying to send it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I've sent it now. Let me open my mic. Let's take maybe 30 seconds and I'll open it. No issues. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah. Okay. What is this? No, no. So look at the data sheets. Okay, okay. So, Mac so remember they okay. said between 0 0.8 and 0 0.2. So look at it here. You see? Yeah. 0 0.8. So what I do, I did a mapping capacitance. So for each of the varactors, okay. I started from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. Okay, okay. You feed this value that's out there, right? Correct. Yes. So I put cap on the capacitor. Yes, then, you know, yes. factor diode, you always have a resistance of about two ohms or three or kilo ohms or there about. So I put, yes. you see where I put the arrow series, put in my yeah. data, then put cap. Then when I went to parametric sweep, I now sweep it from, can you see? 24, 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah. I can see. It's great. See, yeah. yeah, so I took the junction capacitance value and did some calculation. Okay. So you see a mapping is with the value, and this resulted in 0 0.2 volts, 0 okay. 0.3. Well, pick up for it, so pick this up for one, it. okay. Yeah, so 0 this 0.2 to, hmm. to, to 0 0.8, ranging from 9 to, so from the highest voltage of 20, which has lower capacitance, 0 to 0 0.2 like that. Do you understand me? Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. So, yeah, yeah. so when I did a MATLAB simulation, you take the, the appropriate value of each of the, the mapping okay. capacitance for the varactor. That's what I did. That was the sweep I did. Okay. What Do is you VJR understand? basically there? VJR. This is a um, VJR. Huh? Where? Diode cutting voltage. Okay. Reverse bias. Uh, uh, yeah. Reverse bias junction voltage. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> you put into MATLAB. So you have, you know, you have a range. So you take the data sheets. 
and take your values and okay, design. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Sure, sure. I'm happy at least I can show you something today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so, See, more yeah. than yeah, so you know, that, I learned a lot from you today. Yeah, thank you so are much. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a good man. Yeah. Yeah, a good man. So, so that, that is how I got the reflection phase and the... Now, good. I, I forgot to show you something. So, one more uh, thing also you can do. Instead of plain wave, you know, you can just excite the horn pattern. You can ex export the horn pattern and then excite through... That but the horn, well, when, when you put horn, you have to design the horn. Remember, you do horn for me before. No, no, no. Horn, you can design horn separately. You export the four wheel pattern of that horn, particular horn, okay? Then you place it wherever you want. Instead of playing, you know, that direction you can play, put that. Uh, oh, okay. Um, okay. So pattern. I can, I, I don't need to carry the horn and put it in the diagram. I just yeah, yeah, carry yeah, the yeah, yeah. See, This is a far, you know, good enough, basically. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's something in this paper, Dance It in Piper. I don't know if you have read it before. So, because people, where they say the reference, this thing was, was the use, was shared. You understand what I'm saying? Sorry? You understand? Where the reference, where they say the meta surface was, 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 was compared with the PEC. Have you heard about that? method before. Okay, come back to the PC. Okay. I'm coming, let me see something. Just two minutes. Is it for the absorbance or what? No, 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 no. Hold on. Yes, I've seen it. Look at it here. We measure the reflection phase of the tunable surface as a function of bio. Blah, 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 blah. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Can you zoom a bit, please? I can oh, sorry. See, but you know, very small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. We measured the reflection phase of the tunable surface as a function of bias voltage and frequency. The uh -huh. flat metal plate of the same size was used as, was a, used reference. as a reference. This is very, very important. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Because you not already eliminate that, the unwanted reflection from the nearby objects. Okay, yeah, because that, that, that was also used here. Because when you want to get the reflection phase and the and the results, you go to post processing. You see, I did some calculation magnitude and phase. Just look at something. Okay. So you have to add phase, subtract it by B, and add 180. Then you take the magnitude. Okay. So you have not done that before. Where you have the, your meta surface is. So can you compared. open that uh, template, please? Uh, how you gone there? Actually, this one. template, please. Result templates. Okay, Result sorry. Result template. Result template. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Let me see. It. So how you gone there? Mixed templates. Okay, okay. Okay, are you. Uh, yeah, one this year. Are you there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. So, because you have to compare the metal surface, because the metal surface is at zero degrees when you reflect it. But when you have a metal surface, you compare it with the metal sheets. Correct. Okay. This is very important. If not, you can't do what I did. Okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah I understand. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you know, the usually the absorbers, right? There, there is a metal surface absorber, metal metal absorbers, atom absorbers like that. It's a red. They measure yeah, so, like this only. So what they will do is they will put a plain sheet and then they keep a horn antenna, two horn antennas there. as a horn antenna there and then, you know, whatever reflection is coming, you know, they will record it. They normalize that in the... Yeah, cool. God bless you. God bless you. That is what is called normalization. Yes, yes, yes. Normalize it. Yes. Then, you know, they then then the whatever comes is the actual one, the, the uh, occurred by this meta surface display. Yes. Yeah, what is the what is the essence of that normalization? That is my problem, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. What what is the essence of the normalization, please? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me tell you. Let me share my screen. I will tell you. Okay. I'm coming. Can you see my screen now? Hold on, no. I'm coming. No, I'm coming, please. Just one second. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, just one second, please. There's something else I want to share with you. Okay. Okay. So, so yes. Oh, please. Can, uh, hello. Yeah, can you hear hello? me now? Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you give me two minutes? The cleaner is calling me. Let me go and open the door downstairs. One minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please. Just hold on. I'm coming.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sorry. I, I stayed in the office this, um, this overnight, so I locked the door. I'm with the kids, oh. so they know how, so how to run and go down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you something. It's ready now. Yeah. I got, I'm getting a call from here. Oh, sorry. I was called. I was not able to get you. Okay, okay. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? It's not an art had come up, basically. Why? What I've sh shared now? Why is it not coming up? Oh, sorry. I have to sh share my Microsoft Teams. I've, I've, I've forgotten that we have gone off. Correct, correct. We have learned something today, eh? Hello? Yeah, yeah, Hello? yeah. It is, yeah, it is. No, no, no. It is not at shared, basically. I'm waiting, I, I was waiting for that. Yeah. Have you seen it now? Yeah, yeah. Now it's visible. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? So this is yes, normalization. Yeah. Okay. Where is the metal sheet? You see the straight line there? Metal sheet is statement. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that is it. So this is the metal sheet here. You don't, okay. don't do only okay. this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You compare it. That's what that's what I did. So this is the metal sheet. Okay. Then you took that as a reference, right? Yes. Under. Yes. Yes. So I uh, yeah. So what what why why do they do that in maybe metals in this thing? Why is that done? If I ask you, please. Yeah. Yeah. Can shall I share my screen? Yeah, you can share. Please go ahead. Can you see here? For example, see. Uh, let me tell I you a that. simple example. Okay. Can you see yes. here? Okay. Yes, please. So now, shall I uh, see? I wanted to evaluate, for example, a. Uh, Use For example. Uh, Sorry, okay. see. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple uh, ground plane. Okay, then sir. You have a substrate, substrate. Then you okay. have a. Uh, Make that surface. Uh, Patch surface, right? Okay. Good. So now I want to evaluate how how this uh, substrate and the patch is contributing my, for example, any phase distribution or anything, whatever it may be. Okay. Mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. what I have to do is see how much it is contributing this substrate and patch. Okay. I want now to evaluate that. For example, I have a reflector like this. Okay. So I have mm -hmm. a you know a horn like this. Okay. A horn like mm -hmm. this. Okay. Okay. So then uh, you know here now you are connecting this uh, to the vector network analyzer. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. to so that you know you can measure the S11 basically. Okay, so I'm placing this, uh, you know, let us say, you know, I'm just the way you get into this, then come back, right? Correct? You see, you, I, no, so you're very fast, please. I can't hear you. No, no, no. Thing is, see, this is the vector network analyzer. There will be one port, right? Okay, so yes. see, for, for example, this horn is uh, free space matched, right? If you don't see any object there, then it will give you some matching, whatever matching it has, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. 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 Correct? Yes. Yes. But yes, if you yes. put, uh, you know, in the vicinity of that, uh, that if you put this uh, reflector, you will see some change in the S one one, right? For example. Yeah. Of course. Okay? Yes. One okay. eighty degrees. For example, you know, yeah, one eighty degree due to which some, you know, here there will be a mismatch, right? There will yes. be a mismatch. So okay. you will see that you are getting a graph like this. That you normalize it. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. That, that, normalization. That, that normalization means you know you make that point as you know normal, you know, uh, uh, you know normalized point. Then you are putting that you know for example you remove this sheet and then you are going to put you know a substrate in a ground plane with the substrate and the patch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you will see whatever the changes you are getting is the actual effect of this one. That's why we're saying this. Okay. The actual, okay. You want to see what is the difference? Yeah. Exactly. So this one, no. I what I will do is I will record it and then you know in the in the, in the I will record this one and then you know keep it as a memory, keep it in memory. Okay, that mm -hmm. we call it as in memory. Then you you know whatever you are saying uh, getting is the actual difference basically. The difference between these two is the the effect of these structures, substrate and the patch. For example, oh, this is a simple, I, I, simple I, I, one. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, 
But I, I've checked textbooks to really give me the theoretical background to explain, but you don't yeah. see it. I think it's only if you have practical experience like you. Do you, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, no, no, not like that. So, no problem, no problem. Okay. So, on the, so in radiation pattern also, we used to normalize it, right? Because, you know, for example, uh, for example, you know, uh, some pattern may have, a, if you want to really find out the difference, some pattern may have a minus 20 dBm, plus 20 dBm mm -hmm. as the map peak. Some may have a, some same, some may have, you know, 20, 21 like that. Okay, right. But if mm -hmm. you want to measure this side lobe level, no, you have to take the difference always, right? That's why what we will do, we will um, normalize it with the maximum value, this value. For example, if my 20 dB, you subtract all the, throughout the 20 dB, so 20 dB, that, so that you can get the, here it will be zero, whatever you are getting here is the side lobe level, actual side lobe okay, level. Okay, yeah, because the yeah. Okay, yeah, because the PEC will give you the the the, the ideal. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. Ideal, whatever whatever you are getting is on top of that is yeah, it is because of this structure basically. Ah, God, this guy, you're a genius. You're a genius, so okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> not like that. So, so I have seen this before. That's why I'm, you know, see how they test it. So, for example, absorbers, right? Absorbers, okay. They put uh -huh. a plane wave. And then they will see the uh, response. Then they will put okay. this structure absorber. And then you know you will not get see any difference, right? You will not see any difference. Right? For example, see, this is the horn wave re response in free space. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you are going to put a horn in the free space. Okay, you will get mm -hmm. a response like this. Okay, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you, when you are putting this response, then you will you may get like this, right? Yes. There will be disturbance in the reference. Then yeah. after that, you know you are putting that absorbers. Okay, absorbers mm -hmm. means what? Uh, so you have designed some meta meta surface absorbers or a random absorber anything you are going to put that surface and then see you are getting this or not correct mm -hmm. if you are getting this means you are you know uh, the signals are getting absorbed correct mm -hmm. completely absorbed that that so, way you can make out right so when you finish now you now subtract from the original the, yeah, exactly. the yeah. okay then that will exactly. be your so now you can find the difference right so this is mm. the effect, for example, a 20, 10 dB effect or 20 dB effect where you are getting because of this structure. Mm. That's it. Mm. 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 It's interesting. Oh, okay. 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 Can I share yeah. my screen and show you something? We're yeah. almost there now. We're almost there, please. Yeah. yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Can you see my screen? No, 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 not it, not it. I saw the yes, please. Okay. But you know, it see, see something is, your name is there, but it's not coming up. I don't know how. Okay, okay can you see now? Yeah, now, now I can see. Now I can see, yeah. Okay, look at one. See, this is PEC. So can you explain these results? This was the PEC. Okay. Between three and five volt, three and five gigahertz. Okay. Then on DB, it was reflection magnitude when only PEC was there. So this is the reflection magnitude or what? What magnitude is this? For the plane, for the perfect electric conductor. No, 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 no. What, what is the plot you are plotting here? Yeah, this is the reflection magnitude now. How come it is coming plus? Zero dB is the maximum one. That's why I'm asking this. Okay. Uh, um, Complete right. reflection means you will get zero dB, right? Can you check which plot you have? Look at, okay, look at, okay, look at it. Gain, yeah. gain, I think. This is the electric field. Electric field, right. Okay, yeah. that's fine. It is actually yeah, a gain you... only. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. See. Yeah, can you see? Is, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see, I can see. I can see. Why is it? Yeah. Is it because it's a 45 degrees? That is why it's going this way. Zero degrees straight like this to the floor. Can you go back to that uh, other plot? No, this this one, sorry, I made a mistake. This one is 10, this is 11. Can you see? So this one first. This is, uh, you know, face only you are seeing, right? Electric field okay. one. Yeah, this face, face. yeah. yeah. Face, right? Uh, yeah, so face. You always, see, the um, uh, uh, face and amplitude need not be same, right? Because yes, it is yes. it's a starting from zero, that's it. Yeah, but what I'm saying, why is it why is it not straight line? It's like this. Is it because I put the plane wave at 45 degrees? No, 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 no. See, the face will be varying according to your size of the structure, right? You are, what you are doing, see, if you, for example, see, the why it is varying is, it's not the same frequency, right? Okay? Yeah, it's within three and five. Well, yeah, but I say it's going straight to the floor. 
correct correct yeah. correct I, let me tell you let me tell you one thing yeah. uh, can you share my screen can i share my screen okay can you can you okay can, yeah okay okay uh, can yes. you see my screen now yes please can you can you draw that yeah. straight line and explain it yeah that's yeah, okay. the face for the pec mm -hmm. this is what yeah. you are getting right yeah yes, here you are yes. having frequency yes two two five you have a minus, be... you have zero to minus and they're about, yes. Something yes. like that, okay. Yes. Now, yes. let me take you take you the patch, okay? Mm -hmm. This has some dimension, right? X and Y. Mm -hmm. Sorry. X and Y, okay? Mm -hmm. X and Y, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, see. If I'm considering this is the, some dimension, right? It is in terms of lambda, correct? Lambda, yeah, okay, yeah. You can convert that into lambda, right? For example, if you are having 10 mm, okay. So uh -huh. uh, if you are having, for example, 30 mm, okay, 30 mm uh -huh. size, okay. okay. Uh -huh. If you are taking considering 10 gigahertz, means you will get a one lambda is equal to 10, 30 mm, right? Correct? Yes, yes, yes. One yes. lambda is equal to 30 mm. But the same uh, 30 mm, 3 gigahertz means it will become 10 lambda, right? Yes, 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 please. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. And lambda correct okay yes so so what i'm doing is see i'm having some dimension if i am sweeping the frequency <laughs> means what i'm doing my for example two gigahertz and five gigahertz the well lambda is different no, three. Correct? yeah yes yes correct? yes so what yes. happens is see this dimension is see dimension is the same physically it is same but electrically not same electrically okay. what is happening because of the lambda so for example you know if i'm having you see for two gigahertz i'm having for example this is this is designed for two gigahertz for example uh -huh. okay, I may have one sine wave like this. Sorry, uh, one sine wave like this, half yeah. lambda. Okay, but the same thing for five gigahertz, it may be like this. Correct? Okay. Multiple lambdas. Correct? Okay. Same size, physically same, but electrically not same. Mm, okay. Correct? Okay. Yes. 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 I get you. And that's mm -hmm. why you are getting that uh, variation in okay, the as well as the face. Okay, so th that's why the okay, okay, but okay, that's why it's going slant like that. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So if you were to explain this in a paper, how will you put it? You will say what? Well, just in few words, can you say it? Mm. See, uh, the um, we can say that the, the structure is same, but you know, for uh, for 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 the function of frequency, electrically it is not same. Physically okay. it is same, but electrically it is not same. That's why that's why we are seeing this uh, you know difference like that. Variation in phase, like what you're saying now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the electric field, the phase is changing. Exactly, exactly. Mm. For mm. each frequency, it will have different, different phases. Mm. Yeah, for each frequency, it has different phases. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Well, then after this one was, I suppose, uh, this, this is the unwrapped phase. Can you see? No, no, I cannot see your screen. Ah, what is happening? You cannot see? No, no, I cannot. Okay, I'm coming. Can you see now? No, no. Hi, now I can. Yes, now I can. So, you see, this, this, this was for the face, which I showed you. Then this Correct. one was for your... Uh, yeah. So this is the magnitude now. Correct. Magnitude is going to increase, right? Ah, they explain this again, please. Don't be afraid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. The same concept. Let me tell you. Uh, okay. Well, why is the magnitude going opposite of the face? Yes, understand? yes. No, 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 no. See, face is something. So it's varying. Are you are you sharing your screen? Yeah, I can. I am sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So for, uh, can you tell me for 10 gig, what is the lambda? Lambda is 30 millimeters. Correct? Yes. For, uh, for example, 2 gig, what is the lambda? Uh, 2 gig with 3 times 10, it's... Come on. 2... One minute. Let me get my calculator. 
no, no. 0 0.3 divided by 2. So, 15 m, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is going to be 150 mm, right? Yes, 150 mm. Yes, you're right. Correct. Okay. Now, yeah, two gigahertz. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, I'm saying that this dimension is, let's say, 60 mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 60 mm. 60 mm. Okay. Let's say mm -hmm. this is where you know electrical field is there. Okay. This dimension along the electrical line. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, see, in the patch, no, you will have a length and width, right? Length only contribute for the frequency, width is for the matching. That's how you would have studied in the patch, correct? Okay, yeah, yeah. length is for the frequency, width is for the yes. matching. Matching, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, that is for the impedance matching, that's it, right? So now, mm -hmm. so 60 mm is there, right? When I consider 10 gig, what is the number of lambda? Two lambda, right? If you have a plot like this, for example, two to 10 gig, you convert that into lambda. It is two lambda. Here it will be. What is the lambda? Two six, the... sixty divided by one fifty. Correct. Mm -hmm. What? 60? No, sixty. So see, you want to convert okay. this dimension in terms of lambda, right? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. You have okay. to divide by that value, right? Correct. For mm -hmm. example, lambda is one. This is the value, right? You have to normalize with respect to lambda. Sixty mm -hmm. mm is the dimension. You want to normalize with the in terms of lambda means for two gigahertz, whatever lambda is coming is 50 m, 150 mm, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So 150 mm means uh, 60 divided by 150 oh. is 0.4. Correct. Mm -hmm. 0.4. Okay. Similarly, for the 60 by 30 will be. So you are normalizing with respect to lambda. Correct. Mm -hmm. You have this dam. So it is starting from 0.4 lambda to 2 lambda, correct? Mm, from 2 gigahertz is there, 10 gigahertz is there, 2 gigahertz, 10 gigahertz is there. So 0.4 to 2 lambda, you are varying, correct? Mm. Okay, so now 0.4 lambda means what? The size is actually electrically, it is very small, correct? 0.4 lambda means. So here mm. I have some, some frequency you are having as a lambda. Some frequency you are having as a two lambda, which means in that frequency range, for example, if you are exciting two gigahertz, means this surface is 0.4 lambda, which means you know quarter wavelength, like you know, so sorry, 0.4 lambda means very small. Therefore, your amplitude will be low. But when you are moving this one, your amplitude is very high. Correct? Yeah, the two lambda is the 10 gigahertz. Yes. Mm. The same size. Indirectly, what you're getting, you are having two lambda, correct? Same yes. size. Size is not going to change. Only the frequency is changing. Frequency is increasing means what? Decreasing the lambda. Do you, do you get my point? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's why yeah. all aperture antennas, all aperture antennas will have a pattern like this. A gain oh. pattern like this. So, for example, horn antenna, no, if you plot this value, you will get like wave like this, okay? Because this dimension, no, uh, this height is going to be different for different frequencies, right? When the frequency is increasing, means what? Lambda is going to decrease, but the aperture mm -hmm. size is same. But you know, uh, instead of having, for example, for 0.4 lambda means it may have you know this much propagation only. But you know, for example, two gigahertz means you will have a two lambda like this, correct? Mm -hmm. Therefore, you are getting the higher gain value. Mm. As you know, well, yes, yeah, for for higher frequency, have higher gain value. Exactly, that's how it will be. When frequency increases, mm. gain increases for a given given structure size. Okay, for a given structure size, when frequency increases, the gain will increase because the aperture is going to change. Correct. Mm. Yeah, because it becomes smaller. Yes, mm. exactly. Oh, sorry. No, no, don't close it. You close it. Hello? Oh, sorry. 
Sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. Let me see. I'm, I'm still looking at your, your what you wrote. Sorry. You close it. Okay. So this one on the left hand side is 0 0.4. Yeah. And the other one is um, 10. Yes. 10. 0 0.4 lambda. This one is 10 lambda. Two lambda. 0 0.4 lambda to two lambda. Yes. yes. Mm. So size is increasing, right? Yeah. You know that, you know, gain is, what is the formula for gain? 4 pi yeah. AE by lambda square, correct? Yes, yeah. Correct? Yes, yeah. Okay. So AE is what? Effective aperture. Yeah. Okay. Correct? Gain yeah. is directly proportional. When the aperture size is increasing, means gain will increase. Yes. That is a thumb rule, correct? Mm, yeah. So when uh, aperture size, when it will increase, for when frequency increases, for a given size, for example, some X size, when a frequency increases, the size will always increase, right? For a given yeah. size, correct? Mm, because yeah. lambda is decreasing. Mm. The number of lambda keep on increasing, correct? Mm -hmm. That's why that sense. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's why it's moving straight like that, increasing like that, because exactly. the frequency is exactly. Oh, exactly. exactly. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 not it. Not it, not it. But why is it starting from... Okay, now, I understand that. But you see, in DB, it's starting from 4 point something, not from two, origin. 4 point something to 7 point something, yes. Yeah, why, it's not starting from origin, as in to show. Okay, it's cause, because it's 3 is here. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But well, you see, it's not straight. That is a problem. If you there will be a variation, there will be a variation. Obviously, variation. Okay. So it's a, okay. we are not using ideal material, right? It's uh, a because it's a lossy material, right? It will vary for frequency to frequency. Correct. Um, okay. That's why you will okay. see the variation. But if you okay. put a lossless, if you put that as a lossless of material, like ideal PEC. material, you will get a straight line. Okay, like a PEC. No, 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 no. Right. PEC as well as the substrate also you put as an ideal one. You will get a straight line. Yeah. No, I say if I use only uh, PEC alone, for example. No, 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 not only PEC. Substrate also is there, right? You are giving mm -hmm. some loss value, right? You mm -hmm. put it as an ideal value, ideal one. Then okay. Which, which is not possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm, I see. Okay. So I can say here that the magnitude of the PEC that is used for reference it's increasing yeah. because the frequency has been increasing and the aperture, the size of the structure is reducing. Yeah, the effective that. aperture is, we can call it as the effective aperture is increasing. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Okay. okay. And the magnitude dB is starting is 4.5 or 4.2 to 7 point something. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I think so can we there. close the call now? Actually, oh. yeah. Oh, you want you're, you're going to go somewhere? Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I have some work to do. Okay, please. I, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Please. Yeah. The, yeah, that one was by the way. So now, finally, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Uh -huh. This is the main reason I called you. I was showing you the 4.8. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, I can see your screen. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I was saying. But this thing, I'm not getting, I'm not getting the, the, what is in the paper. Okay. So they are plotting only one half, correct? Yes. They are plotting both half. No, I'm not plotting. Okay, let me do 1D. 2D, 2D. Uh, you are plotting for two halves, right? They are plotting yeah, for I, one I'll half. Cut, I'll cut this half here. So this yes. is, this, this, this is zero degree, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You go to right click it. You right click right. it. Okay. Far field properties. Far field, field plot proper properties. Yeah. Here you can see that. Um, mm, Please, this is this is the main reason I called you because of this because I'm not having the answers as in that. So one D plot properties bottom. on the bottom. One D plot properties. Okay. Uh, here you can change. So I want radial to axis, some... angular axis given. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go. Go to. Go to rectangular plot. Okay. That, that's. I think. 
This is the problem mm. I'm having now. No, no, can you go back now? No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you go back now? The structure. Okay, structure. No, no, no. I'm asking. See this structure. No, you can go to I should close uh, reference circle. Can you go to reference circle? Reference circle. Where is it? Okay. Uh, okay, cancel. Cancel this. Cancel this. This is not that. No, no, not that. Cancel this. Wait, 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 wait. Plot mode. Can you go to plot mode? Oh, not this one. Uh, view, view, view. Can you go to view? View. Not that. Okay, access, access. Access where this is. Look, I don't have on the right. No, no, not that. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> not this one. Okay, can you go to general? General, please. General, okay. This, this is where I want. This is where I want help mainly. Sorry, all the other one was just by the way. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you go to plot range? Can you tick that box? Which plot one? Range on the bottom. Uh, plot bottom. range. Uh, yeah. Uh, tick this that one. box. This uh, one. That, uh, under the bottom, the top one, top one. Hold on for three sixty. Yeah. Click. This click one. on that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nothing is changing. Okay. No, mm. what I've not applied. Let me apply. Should I apply? Yeah. I don't know. That is, you know, it will come as a 360. That's all. So, um, let, me, let me put here and see. No difference. No, no, no. Only that values will change. So, one thing is like. Uh, So because can you cancel they, this? Cancel this one. Cancel this one. Right click it. Right click again. Yeah. Plot properties. Plot properties. Okay. Because the papers say. You can see here. Uh, I don't know whether I'm correct. No, no, no. That's see, what? the thing is, see, 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 see. Actually, it's a dipole, right? Kind of dipole, right? They are only plotting that you can see here. There, it is a cutted plot, right? It is not a finishing plot. What they have done is, see, they exported this value and then plotted in Excel. Only half, one half. Okay? No, I, I, no, I understand. I just this half. I get that is true. I, I yes. don't argue. But the issue is that what I'm saying, for example, is this, is this plot? This is, is this zero degrees? Because like this one here. Yeah, pi 90 is there, right? Yeah, for E plane, the, the surface was programmed for zero degrees. Can you see? Yes. Zero 10. But when I put 10, well, is it here I'll put it 10 degrees? Or let me put 40, for example. It's not changing. No, no, no. Look at, no, look no, at, no, 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 no. I think they are, they, are, they, are, they are talking about different. No, 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 not this one, my friend. See, this is the cut angle, right? Which cut What's you are cut? going to uh, see in the 3D uh, um, sphere, right? Which cut you want to see? See, the, can you go back to that paper? E-plane steering feed horn is oriented so that you know electric field vector can the surface was programmed for a zero degree 30 degree. See, can you go back to your CST? CST? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you go to why see, is this blue? Why is this blue showing here? Is this the main that beam? is the oh. beam width, beam width, yeah. Main low beam width. That's oh, why it's it in this, di in this direction. 12 degree. 12 degree, yes, yes, yes. It's not in no, this. No. I thought it's in this direction. It should be no, zero. no, no. Whichever is maximum, it will automatically take that reference. Okay. So see, the thing is, see, you have only simulator for one plot, right? Can you go to E field plot? Show e -field me that plot. far field, far field plot. Yeah. Because you, know, you, you have. You see, see, the thing is, you have a no simulator for only one one uh, case, right? It's not the multiple cases, right? It's multiple. What? What? How? I don't understand, please. I simulated within because they said the usable bandwidth is 4.5. So I started from my is from three to five gigahertz, as you can see in that um, PowerPoint. That's okay, but uh... so I don't know what my design. That's why I said that they didn't give every parameter complete. That's why that's why I called you. 
but I'm not getting it right. I don't know if I make sense. No, no, cut angle is different, my friend, because you know, but you know, here itself, you have to show that. Uh, uh, okay, so, so, okay, 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 go down, please, go down, please. Tables is there, right? Tables. You saw that, you know, there is a variation in the table. Okay, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear yeah, me? Can I hear? Yes. What see, happened? See, 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 see. Wait, 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 wait. See, the far field plot. Can you go to far field plot? Can you see my screen? Plot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can far see your screen. So here, see, Perfect. this will plot okay. for the last case. Okay. This will plot for okay. the last case. Only one case, basically. Five. But you know, each case, no, you have to simulate it again and again. That's all. What? I don't get. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. No. Excuse. Don't be offended. Are you saying. Go no, to, go to far, far field cuts. No, no, far field cuts. Far. No, no, in that, in okay, that, in yeah. that. No, no, here, here. No, no, on the bottom. There is a one, one far field cuts. There is one option. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you go to that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this no, one, no, yeah. not that. Not that. No, no, no. There is a plus is there, right? Our next two far fields. Yeah. yeah, click on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, click on that. Uh, 45 degree, 0 degree, whatever you are giving, right? You can select that. Which one is you want? You are oh, seeing the right? Cut, cut, cut is going to help. This is the cut, basically. 0 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree, like that. Can you click on that? Yes. Yeah, so so what, I, so what are you saying? I should click this, for example? Yeah, 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 yeah. Check. The same thing. Okay. Go to no no no. Go to go to 45 degree cut. 3D cut. Where is 3D cut? No no oh. no 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 no. 45 degree. Come to come. Scroll down, please. Okay. 45. Yeah. Yeah. Here you can see. Can you see now? No no no. Can you see now? Five That's zero. Fine. These many cuts you are having. Yeah. Five forty five. Can you click on the five forty five? This is the 45 results. Can you click on the 90? This is the results. You can select whichever frequency you want. Yeah, when you say, don't be offended. That, oh, God. This is the main reason I called you. So, so I can be done with you and you do what you want to do. Please. That's why I don't know. I, I've been having discussion. They said maybe my approach is not... Um, Look at it here. They said, just start this whole thing. Series of this, 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 this. We mitigated this the first go. No, yeah, no, okay, no. See, it. the thing is, see, see, wait, wait, wait. One minute, please. Okay. Yeah, please. So they are saying that surface was programmed for zero degree, 10 degree, 20 degree. 20. What was programmed? It is a capacitor value, right? Capacity, look at, okay, let me look at it. Read it here. The variation pattern was measured for each set of control. Just this, this small place here. No, no, I'm asking. No, no, what you control for that, uh, to get that uh, value? To get where, where I am here? You mean here? No, no, not that. This? Yeah, yeah, can you go to parametric sweep, please? Parameter sweep, okay. Here you are changing, right? How many you are changing? Just here, 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. I use arbitrary. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I use arbitrary points. Uh, I think, see, that plot is done in the paper. They have done for only one frequency, not all frequency. Okay. Uh, well, they did, they did for all frequency. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. One frequency at different cut angle. Correct? Uh, you are the expert. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Can you go to that uh, paper, please? Yeah. Can you zoom a bit, please? Uh, okay, some 150 percent like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Figure 10, where it is referred? Where it is cited? 
gigawatts. See, they have, see, see, they have shown for 4.5 gigahertz, basically. Can you show that? The measurements is shown are for 4.5 gigahertz. But, okay. the, but the radiation pattern could be optimized over a broad range of, within the tuning range of the frequency. Yeah, exactly. See, 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 but the plot is for the one frequency with various cut angle, like you know, steering angle. 4.5 gig, that's all. Okay. Can you go back to CST, please? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, please, before I go there, see why I did that. See where from here. This is where I got the idea from. Yes. This No, this this small place here. This is where I got the idea. This see, I did they this. are saying that the frequency can be tuned from 2.5 to 4.5, okay? However... But the plot is done for the one-to-one -one frequency. Yeah. They say, however, this surface is only useful for beam steering ab above about 3.5. Because at lower bias voltages, the variator have greater loss, which diminishes the gain and distorts the phase curve. The solid line in figure seven corresponds. So that's why I did that. Yeah. No, 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 no. See, so this figure is what? Number is what? Can you scroll down, please? We got nine and ten. Nine and ten, right? E and H. Nine, yeah. Nine and ten, right? Nine and ten is for only one frequency. That I can surely say. I, I, I tried that before, but it was not. Um... No, 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 no. See, the thing is, you know, what I'm saying is, he cancel this. So you cl click only one frequency. Uh, okay, look at my, okay, on the field monitor, right? That's what I put there. Yes, yes, 4.5. They, 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 right. they have to be frequent 3 and 5, frequency 4. That's yeah, what correct, I do. you can put uh, one four point five. that's it. Yes, I did that, but. Then I use them. Um, so what I said, I should not. Um, then I use the uh, step width linear 0 0.2. This is what I did. Okay. Is this wrong? That's what I did. I think that should be okay. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, see, I'm trying. I don't know. I cannot control that also. Can you cancel this one? Cancel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you. Please click on the plus, please. On the left, there is a plus, right? No, no, no. On the left, there is a plus. Plus, plus, please. Expand that. Yeah, expand that. No, no, expand this that. One. This no, no, one. not that. Ah, yeah, this one. Yeah, expand that. Similarly, you expand for 545. You click on the 4.5, please. Or 4.5, okay. some frequency. Yeah, frequency. Yeah. Okay. Click on here. This is the one. Okay. Next, go to 545. Ah, same frequency. You click on that. This is what you are getting now. Okay. Yeah. It's so, changing, right? Yeah, I want to get the 10, 20, 30. Yeah, 40, but I'm not getting it. It's all between one place here. Can you see? It's not changing. Like, you see, like this one is changing. See, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. My friend, actually, you see, the cut is different. This is different, my friend. I don't know how I can explain to you. So is this one in, is this one in theta? Is this, is this in theta or five? That I have to really see in which direction they have sweep this one. Uh, basically, where is the figure nine is explained? Figure nine. Okay, look at it. See figure nine here. See figure nine here. Look at the explanation here. Reflective beam steering from here. That only that statement. Mm, actually, both are different aspects. Mm, can you figure nine, please? Can you zoom, uh, scroll down, please? Are you recording this, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 come, 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 slow down, scroll down, please. Yeah, figure nine and ten. Okay, first silo level. Figure nine. Wait, wait, wait. Voltage radiation patterns were measured in each set of control voltages corresponding to several steering angles. Okay, each set of, here it is very clearly mentioned, each set of control voltages corresponding to several steering angles, right? Okay, e plane steering, which means, you know, maybe you can say that, you know, um, 
touch plane steering figure 10 is the rotator by the 90 degree on is rotator. But this is for the measurement. Okay. So here you can see you are seeing that 50 degree. Okay. For H plane, you are going to see 590 degree. That's all. Two cuts you have to see. That's all. So you are saying. No, no, get no, my point. You're, 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 no, you're speaking fast, please. I, I, I no, can't no. get you. See, what I'm saying is, see, uh, let me share my screen and explain you. I, because, you know, I cannot, in this one, uh, uh, can you go, go to CST, please? Okay. The problem is, see, I will tell you with the CST explanation itself. I, you know, I don't know. Because I cannot control your uh, PC also. I can tell you. See, can you, I will share my screen and I explain you. Okay, okay sir. How we can do this, okay? They can see, see, can you see here? See, I'm saying, I'm saying this 545, correct? You don't have to see, only you have to see 50 and 590, that's all. Okay, you're saying 545? Yeah, yeah this be... is for the E plane. Let's say E plane. This okay. is for the? Phi, okay. Catch plane, okay. okay. What I'm saying so, is, what I'm saying, these two plots you have to see for one frequency alone. Don't don't sweep anything. You just in the field monitor, no, you will just field monitor, no. You only define 4.5 gigahertz. That's all. You please remove that broadband one. Okay. Ah, is that what you're saying? You have to plot only for this one. Okay. 4.5 gigahertz. You have to only look at the 50 and 590. Okay. Now what you have to do is see. At a time, it will plot only for one iteration. Means, for example, he, he there in the paper, it is clearly mentioned that, mentioned that, you know, for example, see, one vo voltage is corresponds to some steering angle, correct? Yeah. So you have to define one voltage first. Then you have to define, you know, steering, you have to see the day steering angle. Then you that you will see here. Okay. And the next voltage, you will see, you have to plot one by one. That's all. You oh see, first, first voltage, one voltage you apply, and then you ca copy this, uh, you know, for example, you will get some va value like this. You ca you please export this value. Then again, you change the voltage, and then again, you will get some radiation pattern, steered radiation pattern. You export that and save it with you. Okay, Finally, yeah, but you said, yeah, you said I should only use for 4.5 gigahertz. Yes. I, don't forget, you say voltage. I'm not using voltage. I'm using capacitor. I'm doing a capacitor parametric sweep. That's why I say uh, correct, correct. See, the thing is, you know, this tool has does not have a capability to record all at a time. Okay. Maybe oh. it may have, see, but you have to do some post processing logic. Okay. See, the thing is, what I'm saying is, see. One oh minute. God, this is very complicated now. I'm, I'm getting no, this. no, no, not complicated, my friend. So it is very simple. Let me tell you one thing. That's why I said they did not give us. No, 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 no. See, see, you have to do some post processing technology. That's it. See, the thing is, see, you are having. I have some work also. See, X, Y, Z. Okay. Understood? Okay. X, Y, Z. Okay. Okay. This is the patch. It will have a radiation pattern, three dimensional radiation pattern, right? If you see Z, you know, theta you are rotating. Theta, this is theta with respect to Z. Okay, theta is the one with respect to Z. Z, right. Z. With That's respect the, to uh, X uh, axis. Uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Okay. This okay. is phi zero. Okay. This is phi 90. Okay. With respect to phi X axis, if you are rotating, means you are taking phi zero cut. If you are, you know, uh, with respect to Y axis, if you are taking, means. Phi 90 cut. Okay. Understood. Okay. Okay. Now, in uh, let us take, you know, phi zero cut. Okay. Let us take. See, he, is, he has plotted phi zero cut. Let us say. So, like this. X, X. Phi zero. Okay. Zero. Now, what you have to do is see, you, you know that it is clearly mentioned that voltage corresponds to steering angle. What is it, that voltage? You know, you can convert that into ferret also, capacitor also. That is not a problem. Okay. Okay. You can parameter this or this. I don't mind. Only okay. thing is this. You have to see. There okay. is a mapping, right? This is yeah. having the, some mapping, but you know this voltage is having some mapping. So therefore, here also you have a mapping. Correct. 
What okay. I am saying yeah. is, see, unless you apply the post processing method, what you will do is, see, you apply some farad, some x farad, you will get a, some steering as zero degree, y farad, you are going to get ten degree. You have to plot every time that, then you copy that, then you will you can combine that plot in one plot, you will see the difference. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, understood or still? Uh, uh, I see, think I see, okay. No, no, no. The thing is, see, far field pattern, no radiation pattern, no. It will mm -hmm. plot for the last value that it took. For yes. example, you are sweeping from x to y. So yes. For example, sir. one to five. Okay. okay. It will only plot for last value that it, it took. It will only plot for last value that it took. Okay. 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 Like what I told you now. Three yeah. to five. Three to five. Yeah. Right? Three to five. Yeah. It only plot for last value. That's why I'm okay. saying you do manually change in the parameter side. One, you take the plot, export it. Two, take the plot, export it. Three, take the plot, export it. Four, take the plot, export it. Five, export it. Then you can plot in the Excel that all plot together. You will see the difference, right? Okay. Okay, so okay, take one. Okay, okay. So when I take the plot, okay, I'll, I'll take uh, one gigahertz, for example, take five and 590, right? Two gigahertz, five take five and 590. That, because 50 is XZ, 590 yes, is YZ. Yes, yes, see, no, no, you can take only one frequency. No, forget about all the frequencies. You can take one frequency, for example, five gigahertz or okay. 4.5 gigahertz. That's it. Only uh -huh. you do it to 4.5 gigahertz. You okay. vary the voltage or farad, I don't mind. You will, you put one value, plot it, take that out. Then again, you change the another value, plot it, You whether you can see the 10 degree shift or not. That's it. That's what you want to see. Okay. Let me... Phi zero is XZ, phi nine is YZ, right? Exactly. Okay. So, um... Please keep your screen. Let me share my own screen now. Hello? Yeah, 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 I can. So what you're saying, I should not use this broadband again. How do I? I yeah, exactly. Put four point. Yeah, 4.5. Four, that's Okay, let me say 4. So, okay, I will not put this step. No, 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 not at all. Okay, then I simulate. Yes, right? apply. Apply here and then simulate it. I simulate. So when I come, I'll only see maybe five gigahertz, right? No, 4.5. Yeah. Or four gigahertz. Okay. So no, I no. know what I'm, I'm saying is see, you remove the broadband itself. Wait, 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 there's uh, no, I'm not no, there's no broadband here again now. No, no, no. You put a sweep, right? Uh far field. That's all. No, 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 no. I don't know. I cannot control that also. See, go to far field monitor. Cancel this. cancel this, cancel this, hold the feed monitor. No, 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 not here, my friend, on the left. Okay, this one, okay. Go to I'm field here. monitor. No, field no, field monitor. monitor. Top, okay. top. Excitation signals, field monitor, voltage and current monitor like that. Okay, I'm coming. No, no, here, here. Yeah. Down, down, please, down, please. Yeah, that is the one. Yes. Here you can see, this money you have defined. Yes, please, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so 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 far field you you can define that that the that, 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 that the bottom one no you remove all of them only okay. unless you keep only four point five something like that. Okay. Yeah, you change the four point six to four point five. Can you click on that? Double click on that. No, okay. Uh, yeah, here you can change the four point five. Okay. Okay. What about if I delete all of them? I don't need to simulate again. I take only this. I delete. No, no. What I'm saying is, see, see, see. What I'm saying is, you save us this file. You keep another copy of this file, then you put here 4.5, you remove all other monitors. Okay, I remove all these other monitors, yes? Yes, okay. you only keep only 4.5. Okay, I get then that. Then you go to parametric sweep, cancel, you can make a copy of this one. You go to parameter, no, don't, don't put parametric sweep, you value the you change the value of a uh, farad or whatever it may be uh, capacitor or anything. Okay. One one at a good. time. Simulate oh, it. Get the pattern. Yeah. Say two at a time. Another, uh, that's it. 
You okay, crowd it, so, that's it. Okay, so 4.5, I go to parameter strip, then it's 0 0.2 picofarad alone. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 what I'm saying, you see, you do one by one. If you do parametric sweep also, you will get one plot only. That's what I'm saying you. Okay, okay. Because it will take the last one to plot that radiation pattern. Oh, but I for see S parameter, no. S parameter, you will see the sweeps. Okay, multiple values. Mm -hmm. But for mm -hmm. radiation pattern, it will only show you one plot oh, value. Oh, okay. That means what it has done is that that capacitance, it takes only the last capacitance there to yeah, plot. Exactly. This. That's what I'm saying you. Oh, you okay. would have said that. I now understand. So yes. I'll do this 4.5 gigahertz. Go and take maybe yes. 0 0.2. Yes. Get the plot results. It. It. Take out. Yes. 0 0.4. Plot it. Okay. Take out. Oh, like that. one by one, you have to do. That's it. So, are you saying if I do that, I will have 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees? Exactly, that what you're exactly, exactly. Oh, then how do I export all these results? Okay, I just copy the result and keep somewhere. Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, yeah. How do please. I export? Okay, yeah. okay I, can, I can copy manually. Just yeah, yeah, short. please. You please okay. try that and then we'll let you know. We'll, we can connect later, okay? Because I have some work now. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Thank you. Finally, so I did the, finally, I've, I've finished, sorry. So let me just show you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, sorry, please, let me just show you. I want to show the 3D pattern. How do I show it? I forgot. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Well, I want to show you the 3D pattern, 4.8. Okay. So uh, what I want to say, this theta and phi is just the XZ and the YZ, right? Yes. No, no, oh, XZ, not X, Z, Y, Z. See, it can be in between also. That's why, see, for X, along X, you know, X, Z means it will be phi zero. Okay. Okay. Along Y is... Uh, it will be phi 90. Phi 45 means it will be in between X, X, Y. In okay, between so, X, Y, you are sweeping. So, go okay. to 3D pattern, I will tell you. Go to far field, far field plot. Far field plot, far field. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah three-dimensional plot. Can you go to that? I don't know why it's not showing. You click somewhere else. No, 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 not that, not that, no, 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 bottom one, bottom one. Can you click on the bottom one? Yeah, here, here. Okay, yes, sir. 3D prod, 3D prod. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. it's too much to say. Why is it too yeah, can you go, show the structure? Can okay. you click on the show structure? Yeah. Yes. Why is but it showing it is sweeping? It's sweeping. I don't know how. Why is it showing this? Why is it showing by static? It's few that I'm showing, but it's showing by static scattering. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Hmm. No idea. No, click on that. Click on what? Click on what, please? Uh... Can't let go. me tell you. Uh, let me take a snapshot of this and then explain you. Because I am running out, running out of time. Okay, I'll allow you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. You yeah, see, I cannot have I cannot have the game here because I'm not using horn antenna. That my friend say I can only have game with horn antenna. I can't have. Uh, can you can you can you see my screen, please? Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. See the thing you see. This is the three-dimensional pattern, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the x-axis. Let's say. Z axis, uh, Y, and the X, another X, okay? That's if you are top. taking this cut alone, you yeah. will only see these values, these side lobes only. Uh -huh. okay? But if you take this cut along Y, you will see uh -huh. these two coming in, these two coming okay. in, correct? Okay, yes. Correct? Yes, yes, sir. That's what I am saying. See, 45 degree means you will cut like this. You okay. will see only these side lobes, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. That's why, what? you know, in some of the plot, you are seeing some side lobes very random like this, right? Okay. Because of this only. Because, you know, it depends upon the cut, no? Okay, okay. Okay, that is the, that is the meaning of the of the cut. Yeah. Okay. Cut. So if you put zero degrees, you're only having zero degree cut. That's what you're see, the showing. The thing is, you know, let me plot and say you. See, this is the one. X, Y, Z. Z yeah. Zero degree two for 90 degree, right? Zero degree to 90 degree. You can yeah. take a cut here also, here also, here okay. also, anywhere you can take a cut, right? The okay. whatever values are coming there, it just it will just show you. Okay. Okay. That is the meaning of that is the meaning of cuts. 
angle. Yes, okay. exactly. Yes. What, what about theta? What is theta? Is it the elevation angle of how I do it? The elevation angle is this zero. Okay, if you come... Uh, see, I mean theta, uh, theta. Theta, 4590. Hello? One second, one second. Okay. So theta means see, it will be something like this. Theta is different from phi. Wait, 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 wait. Theta means C. So you can do a cut like this. This mm -hmm. is zero degree cut. Theta, theta is rotating. One phi is okay. not rotating, right? Okay, okay. But, phi is rotating. But, okay. but, but, you can have a theta like this. Theta 90 degree. You are rotating okay. in this, this phi, phi. Rotating this oh, phi. Okay. okay. That's why, when you know, theta, theta, here you can see, for example, theta. Cut play, the, here you can see. Okay. Cut plane is what? Five. The constant is what? Constant is phi means phi zero cut. Phi okay. zero or phi 90. If you okay. might change it as a theta, theta 90, theta zero, whatever you want, you can take it. For, uh, for example, okay. see, theta theta zero means, see, for example, if you are taking phi cut like this, horizontally mm -hmm. it will rotate. Uh, okay. Theta zero means what you will see, whatever you are seeing in this top. Uh, oh. when you, uh, you move this axis to here, 90 degree, theta 90 degree. Then whatever okay. cut you are seeing, you will see these plots. That's okay, why. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you so much. Uh, Please, yeah. can you I when you're sending me the video, send it as according to how the first one, second one, so I will follow. Don't don't send like that. Check where the first one ends like that. Um, serially. Please. Uh, okay, I will try that. No problem. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Will you send thank it you. soon? Okay, will you send Yeah, I will send I will send you by okay. today evening itself. Okay. Thank oh, you. Oh, today evening. Okay. Okay.